I've wanted to be a paleontologist since I was four years old. I'm originally from Utah. When my grandparents took me as a small four-year-old to Dinosaur National Monument, I saw them working on the wall and whatever it was, that was it. I wanted to be a paleontologist, so here I am. My name is Eric Lund. I am the SCCU Dino Lab Manager here at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. We've got a really great team, a very diverse team of a whole bunch of different people that come from a whole bunch of different backgrounds, and we really complement each other. So the dueling dinosaurs are a pair of specimens found in 2006 in eastern Montana, and they're really unique because they are some of the most complete dinosaurs uh, to be found, one being a tyrannosaur, the other being a triceratops. These specimens are here at North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. The dueling dinosaurs experience is just that, it's a whole experience. When people come to this museum to visit us, they'll get introduced to the Cretaceous 66 million years ago. They get to learn about these two dinosaurs that make up the dueling dinosaurs. Then they get to transition into that lab space and see us actually working on the fossils that they just learned about. We've been holding off most of the preparation uh, in this lab because that's one of the promises we made to people was so they can see us actually do our work here in the lab. So we've done very minimal preparation on these specimens up to this point. So as some of the most complete individuals of these two dinosaurs, it really helps us to start answering questions about variation within a species. Like I said earlier, we don't even know what species they are. So through our research, we hope to find that out try to figure out if it's a Tyrannosaurus rex or if it's something different. Could be another animal called Nanotyrannus. For the Triceratops, there's two species that are definitively known from the Hell Creek Formation. These animals also have injuries that heal during their life. So it shows us that it was sort of a rough life in the Cretaceous 66 million years ago. Trying to figure out how they came together is another uh, part of the puzzle. So these two dinosaurs have been given the moniker the dueling dinosaurs, but we don't actually know if they were dueling. One could have been dead already and the other one came to feed on it, or they could have been caught together in a flood and washed into the same environment. Not only do the public get to come here to this museum and see them, but it's really, really important for research. It sort of makes North Carolina and this museum a center of research and progress for paleontology. So it's really, really, uh, exciting for the state of North Carolina. We really hope that being able to bring the public and visitors inside our lab space will spur on the next generation of scientists, not necessarily paleontologists, but just science in general, which is really, really important to get people excited and kids specifically to get them to see that they can be a paleontologist and not just uh, someone they've seen on TV. When people think about dinosaurs, they don't necessarily think about North Carolina as being the place where dinosaurs are found. And we have been able to, by bringing the dueling dinosaurs here, really been able to create this experience for the people of North Carolina. And so we are quickly becoming one of the premier research institutions in the world for dinosaur paleontology.